Hey everybody, William Padilla Brown coming at you with a video update from my home spirulina cultivation here in New Cumberland, Pennsylvania. And yep, you're just looking at my spirulina shelf. I have one shelf rocking out. These are the starter cultures that we have going for this year. I'm going to be expanding out these cultures so that we can get them into market this year. Uh, hopefully having them at the farmer's market on 4th in New Cumberland and possibly getting them into some restaurants and such. So very exciting things going on with the spirulina, this wonderful cyanobacteria, microalgae, uh, future food. This is one of the highest protein content foods on the planet, this wonderful microalgae that can be cultivated in bottles full of uh, nutrient-dense water, uh, alkaline water, which makes it very safe because not other, not that many other organisms want to grow in alkaline water. So the reason I started to do this video in the morning is because in the morning time, I have touched these bottles a little bit so you can't see as much on this one, but uh, the spirulina will clump together at the top. Uh, so some people have seen my previous videos where I have t airlines going in with uh, pumps circulating the air in all of them. So you won't ever, really ever get to see the chance, uh, have the chance to see the spirulina building up on the top. And I like to do this when I'm starting my cultures because a lot of North American cultures of spirulina will have straight trichomes instead of the normal spiral helical trichomes that you'll see with the healthy spirulina. And this is due to the fact that it's just been stressed out. It traveled around, doesn't have the nutrient content that it wanted to in the water. But the spiral helical trichomes will connect at the top. Since they're all spiral, they'll just get all stuck together. So the really healthy spirulina that you want is at the top, which makes it easier to transfer that over into a new bottle and make sure that you're getting healthier cultures on the next round. So yeah, every morning I just come over here and swirl them around. Uh, I probably swirl these around maybe two or three times a day. And then I'm running the business out of my house. So I have my employee Jack in here five times a week and uh, he'll come in here and just swirl these around whenever he gets the chance. Uh, so these are about six days in, six or seven days in since I started. They're expanding very nicely. Uh, so it should be about three, in the next three to four days we should see a big explosion and they'll get really nice and dark green and we'll go ahead and expand them out into their next culture. Uh, if you search spirulina on my YouTube channel here on Apex Grower, look through my videos, you'll find other videos that I've posted on spirulina. And if you're interested, you can check out my Facebook, William Padilla Brown, to find more information on uh, on the spirulina through pictures that I've posted. Also, if you're interested in learning more, uh, check out Sharondale Farms. I'll drop the link below. Uh, Mark Jones is gracefully hosting a spirulina workshop on his farm. So I'll be down there leading the only spirulina workshop on the East Coast uh, this year that's scheduled. So get out there and nerd out with us and learn how you can start producing spirulina for yourself, your family, your friends, and eventually your community. Yeah. So um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Share it all around, Facebook, any of your favorite permaculture blogs, microalgae blogs, anything like that. This is William Padilla Brown coming at you with spirulina, the food of the future. I hope that everybody can start doing something cool for their community.